Welcome back, Stingers. I hope you're enjoying the Scorpio Season Transformation Series where I give you guys tiny little nuggets of information that will hopefully propel you to transformation in a way that you build an amazing self-concept. Today we're going to talk about how a bad breakup with a Scorpio is just a bad idea. It's just a bad idea. <laughs> Breakups happen. They do. They happen to us all. Uh, I have separated from many people in my life. However, I notice the ones that leave kind of quietly are safe with me. And I mean safe in the sense that with a Scorpio, because we are fixed and not just fixed like the other ones. We're not like Aquarians or Leos. Okay. We're, we're built different. We're either friends or enemies. And so there's no middle, like, ah, she's just all right. Like, nah, if I don't fuck with you at all, it's it's at all. And it's not just with you. It's the, all the people that you know and your kids and your doll. Like, none of, all of it has to go. All of it has to go in my book. And so you have these people, and I've seen this in my comment section People have sent me emails of how they've cussed Scorpio out, how they've said things, they've brought up things from their past, things that they were open with them about, things that they've been waiting for Scorpio to be open with them about for like 10 years. And once they did open up, they used it against them. And all of this complete nonsense, this verbish, these terrible words, these threats, these, you guys know, because a lot of you guys are in these relationships where you cuss each other out and you say things that you can't take back. Once the words are released, you cannot take them back. And this is the problem. You know, for me, it's like if you want to get volatile and you want to get violent or put your hands on me and things like that. And you guys know that I, I like I've never had a violent relationship with someone but I came close to it and if you've read dating Scorpio you know what zodiac sign that I came close ooh <laughs> and um well I you know I've never been incarcerated so that's a good thing so that just tells you that I didn't go to that point okay but it, it could have easily went to that point could have easily went to that point um in one circumstance so and this person I've never forgiven, ever. I don't know if they're dead or alive. I know that people have tried to kill this person <laughs> and sadly failed. I don't know how they missed. <laughs> it's like my range would have been so specific. Like there couldn't have been anything between me and the bullet. <laughs> like I don't, I don't even get it. But anyway, um, you know, having these blow ups, they never end well, because in our minds now, once you're the enemy, that's it. None of the previous stuff is forgotten. And I don't care what words you make up. And a lot of you guys, you know, you send me books, honey, novels of, oh my gosh, I did this and that. How can I get him back? I'm like, even in my crash course, how to get a Scorpio back. I, I tell you that it's for people who, you know, separated on different terms. If you are outright disrespectful, volatile, honey, you can forget it because once you go back, it's going to be bad. It's going to be bad. All this stuff is going to resurrect because what we do is we just store shit. We put it on the shelf with your name on it. And if you want to come back and think that's all forgotten, it's very strange. If you're somebody who has dated a Scorpio, has been in this situation, put it in the comments and be honest. How do you think that we've forgotten and that's like, okay? Like, you think we just brush it off? Like, how is it that you feel like that? Like, oh, that was 10 years ago, so it's not a big deal. It's like, how? just tell me. Just tell me, because I, I, I don't understand any of that. Like, things that I've done, like... In my 20s, if somebody wants to confront and be like, oh, I remember you did this. I own it. I did that. I sure did. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, like, that's what we did. And so I don't understand how you think that I forgot. Right? How do you think I forgot? And that, and that we're cool now. Furthermore. So I just wanted to pop on here and talk about that. 
and this is the reason why a lot of you guys have turbulence. You're like, we got back together. Did I, I told you guys about the Leo. <laughs> and the story just sticks with me. It, it's just so funny. You know, double Leo who's so fucking arrogant. Who wanted to come at me because she was with a double Scorpio. And if you're watching, yes, I remember this story. And you tried to come at me like you knew double Scorpio more than I fucking knew double Scorpio. And I was like, okay, I'm going to tell you one thing. The shit that you did is not forgiven. You may get back together, but for the sole purpose of him bringing you close. And I know who we are. Like, I get it. I know who we are beneath the surface. Forget all that. Oh my gosh, he's evolved. And we, honey, we go through that. All the little gaslighting techniques that you have does not fucking work on me. Okay, and does not work on evolved Scorpios either. We know what you're trying to play. So anyway, I know Scorpio, especially sun and moon. I know what we do. I know what we do. I know it. Even if his intent was to fully forgive you, it's coming out, honey. It's coming out like a vampire. It's coming out. It's right in the subconscious that says, that puts a sticker on your face that says you are now the enemy. And come on close. Come on in. And I know it didn't, it, it, the situation didn't end well. And she was so fucking embarrassed. Oh, you were right. He came. Of course I was right. Like, ill. Don't even insult my intelligence. Get away from me. Get away. I just blocked. I blocked that whole situation. Like, ill. Get away from me. How dare you think that you, you know more about sun and moon than I do? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Is every relationship like that? Every sun and moon are like that? You know what? I'm, it's safe for me to say, y'all, yeah. I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say yes. Whether they realize it or not, this is what I'm saying. It's coming from a subconscious place of you're the enemy. You've become the enemy. Come on back. And I'm going to show you what you did to me on an emotional level. I'm going to drag your ass through the mud. And it's going to happen. And it happened to her. And she was so in her ego thinking she was the flyest thing ever. Like, oh, he wouldn't do that to me. And he did. Like I said he would. Oof. <laughs> Oh my gosh, is that a little bead of sweat? So it never ends out well. It never, it never ends. It, it, it never ends well, guys. You know, watch who you are. You know, I'm going to do a video on why it's best to watch your words. Because <laughs> you need it. Anyway, like, subscribe, share, and all that good stuff. I'll see you at scorpionsunscorpionmoon.com where you can book a master chart reading, you can book a personal live stream session with me, or if you want to just get a tarot reading and, and expose someone or figure out the situation, I can do that. I use three or four tarot decks. I hope you guys are knee deep in my transformation series. It's vital that you watch every day, 5 p.m. Um, very short snippets of things that you, that are very useful to you. I have nine amazing crash courses for you guys. If you want a question and answer, it's probably going to be answered in one of my crash courses. I even have a meditation MP3 and I have a love spell to help out those who um, need a little boost. Not trying to control someone. It's, please don't use it in that way. It's sexual, so you have to be over 18 also. Uh, if you're in New York City, you can get my paperback books at Umshanti Bookshop on East 14th Street or Quest Bookshop on East 53rd. You can purchase my uh, paperback and audio on the site. Yes, I am going to have an audiobook version of um, I'm Not Crazy, and I'll make an announcement when it is available, guys. I'm on Instagram, I'm on Facebook. I have some exclusive videos while you're at the site, and um, that's all. Mwah.